welcome guys uh, in this beautiful video so i'm gonna be sharing with you how to trade breakout so breakouts are these are things that are really really happening frequently in the market we know that the market is made up of our trends it is made up of a uh, supply and demand but all these things they move in form of breakout so for a market to transition from uh, a downtrend to an uptrend it requires a breakout from uh, a market to form new supply and demand it requires a breakout so we have a problem as traders because we focus mostly on trends and uh, supply and demand or support and resistance but we forget that everything occurs in the market because of breakouts if you see the market making new highs it is because it broke out some certain level or some certain zone or some certain channel so breakouts are things that we should not neglect but if you will pay uh, full attention into breakout it means that you are gonna be ahead of your game so you, you're gonna be a step ahead uh, in your trading game so we have to really pay attention to this so this video is just going to be teaching you on how to approach breakouts in a very very uh, profitable manner so let us just get started so a breakout it is simply when uh, a flow of a market or a structure of a market is broken or maybe the way the market is moving it has been broken because what you need to know is that the market usually moves in a pattern or maybe in channels as you can see here that these uh this move this up move here it can be a uh, categorize under a channel movement because you can see that price is making highs and low in between these channels even if it was in the channel but for the fact that uh, there is a trend line then it means that we are likely gonna gonna see a breakout in the near future either a breakout is gonna happen on the upper side and when a breakout happen on the upper side is not actually a breakout for a, a reversal but it, it's a breakout that the resemble shift in terms of strength it's a breakout that that the resemble shift in terms of strength meaning the buyers will be moving from strength to uh, another a uh, kind of strength meaning it will be becoming more stronger if the breakout happens on the upper side ne? but if the breakout happens on the downside it simply means that it's now a reversal it's now a reversal or if it's not a reversal it's an introduction or it's a uh, a corrective wave coming in it's a it's a corrective wave coming in if this was an impulsive wave so basically the shift from corrective to impulsive they always happen in a manner of breakouts that's why even uh, those who've been in this channel for a long time they know that our entries they are initiated by breakouts either a breakout of a, of a corrective wave or a breakout of an impulsive wave if we are going to take a reversal so what you need to know a lot of traders they think that or break out there is a price ne? they think that break out there is a price but to, to to really tell you the truth break out they are not a surprise they usually okay smoothly and you can see when they are about to okay for an example if a breakout is, is going to okay you will see that for example here we had a high and then we had another high which was lower than the previous one and again another one which was lower even uh uh uh, uh more than uh, the previous one so seeing this without even noticing the market breaking out here you already observe something why because it tells you that now the buyers they are no longer able to make new highs they are no longer able to make new records meaning it is likely that the sellers are gonna kick in so when a breakout happens surely you should be expecting it why because of the strength that has been portrayed inside the channel so the strength inside the channel it is the one that is gonna direct you into a breakout so let us just uh figure out some other uh examples so that you will understand clear so before you can uh observe the breakout itself make sure that you spend some uh, time observing the waves inside the channel or observing the waves inside the range if it was a range so don't just focus on the breakout without actually observing what happened before uh, the breakout could okay what uh what uh forced or what caused the breakout to actually take place so you should make sure that you focus on that first 
Ne? So for an example, even here, that's the same thing. Ne? That's the same issue. We have a range here and then all of a sudden the range is being uh, uh, broken here. And before the range could be broken, we can see that now the market pushes up, sellers come in, they fail, it pushes up again, sellers come in, they fail again, and all of a sudden buyers, they are pushing all the way up. So an attempt of sellers failing, it resembles that it is likely that the buyers, they are becoming stronger. Ne? An attempt of sellers failing is a sign of uh, buyers becoming stronger. So once you are able to, to, to observe that, once you are able to see that, then you are going to be a step ahead of a lot of retail traders because a lot of retail traders, they, uh, they are caught by surprise when it comes to breakout. Yet the truth is breakouts, they are not a surprise. And then here is another important thing that, uh, that will help you to figure out if a breakout is uh, genuine or is fake. Ne? For you to see if a breakout is genuine or is fake, there are, there are two things that you need to note. Ne? Firstly, it is the momentum of uh, the candle that is breaking out. Ne? The momentum of the candle that is breaking out. And then the second thing that is going to assist you it is uh, a retest. Ne? It is a retest. So these are the two basic approaches that are gonna save you to see either a range is true or false. Ne? I mean a breakout. Either a breakout is true or false. For an example, if the Kengli or if the Kengli's that are initiating the breakouts, they are of a high momentum. When I'm talking about high momentum Kengli's, I'm talking about uh, a little bit of big Kengli's. For an example, this is a high momentum Kengli. Same thing here. It's a high momentum Kengli, even this one. So if the Kengli's, they're becoming big in the breakout area, it means that that breakout might be genuine. Why? Because we can see the power of the guys who are initiating the breakout. In this case, which are the buyers. We can see that their power is uh, uh, at its at its at its maximum. Ne? So that's the first thing to look at when you want to enter. So if you see that the power in the breakout area is high or the momentum is high, then it means that it is good for you to buy that breakout there and there. But if it happens that the power in this zone, it is initiated by small kings, something like this, uh, very, very small king, it means that we have to wait for something like a retest. So a retest it is the safest way to enter a breakout what you need to know as a trader it is that when market breakouts it means that they are actually beginning a new move or they are actually beginning some kind of a, a new direction so if you are beginning a new move or a new direction there is no need for you to be impatient ne? there is no need for you to act quickly like you are fearing that you are going to miss out. So you don't have to fear missing out when it comes to breakout. Why? Because breakout that resemble new direction, new moves, which are bound to take a lot, a lot of time or to take a while. So there is no need for you to be in a rush. So the best way, retest, they are always the best way. But what I was trying to tell you here is that usually when breakouts happen, they are not a surprise. And I was just showing you the good uh, approaches on seeing and understanding breakouts. So I hope this, this video was helpful. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, uh, share and subscribe. Thank you.